Right. So, oh, let me just, I always do this. I always forget to start my silly little watch. <laughs> but I'm going to do it now before I actually start. Indoor, yeah. Okay, so kettlebell class. Uh, we'll start off with a warm up and we're just going to focus on a full body workout today. So it will be some overhead push. Some lunges and squats, and we're going to go on the floor to do um, kettlebell floor press. Um, as always, go at your own pace. It's 40 seconds on, 20 off. Feel free to take as many rests as you need. And obviously, as we're going along, I will show you modifications where possible. But um, we'll get going with our regular warm up, and we're going to go forward lunge with a nice big lateral stretch overhead. So we go opposite hand over the opposite foot and we're given a um, nice big stretch laterally. Feel free to hit pause and put your own playlist on. You probably know from some of the previous week that um, I keep getting blocked on YouTube. So I'm not playing any music anymore, which Actually, when um, I think about it on a practical level, it's better for you all to be able to play the kind of music that you prefer because that actually helps with the enjoyment of the workout. So it's actually worked out to be quite a good thing. Let's do getting that stretch in, warming up those knees and the ankles, and rest. And now we're going to go into reverse lunge, taking those arms overhead. Let's get some movement through our shoulders because we will be doing overhead press. Okay, getting ready. And remember, any lunge, right, throughout the whole of the uh, workout, it doesn't have to be very deep. It can just literally be a step backwards or a step forwards. Depending on your experience with exercise, I think lunges can be one of those movements that we get a bit of resistance to. So sometimes you have to reframe it and call it a step, step back, step forward. And rest. Um, you probably saw on my Instagram that I've been doing a series of reframing exercise. So that's just a little tip. Next one, forward, and this time we're going to rotate on the same leg that we're coming forward. So Laura is in the class live. When we were doing kettlebells the other week, Laura, if you remember, and we were going forward, it was a bit weird because we normally go reverse. So we're going to do more forward lunges. Because that's the thing as well, keeping them buried. Last few seconds. And rest. Okay, now we're going to grab our kettlebell. Let's familiarise ourselves with that weight and we're going to do slingshots. So passing it from one hand to the other, in front of the body and behind. And go and then Halfway through, I'm going to shout, change direction. Just make sure you've got a hold of that kettlebell before you let go. We haven't had any dropped kettlebells yet, though. So that's good. Okay. Getting ready to change direction. So just change the direction of that kettlebell, hand to hand. It's always a good idea in the warm up. To familiarise yourself with the weight that you're going to use, just so that your body knows what you're going to be working with. And rest. Right, last one in the warm up. Hand to hand swings. I want you to take your time, a nice moderate flow. You don't want to go too intense yet, which is still warm enough. Getting ready. So, what we do, we change. Hand to hand at the top of the movement. Good. 
Get a nice warm up going on. Do the hinge movements through the hamstrings and the glutes. And of course, we're still putting some movement through the arms and the shoulders. 10 seconds. And rest. Okay, warm up done. Just a heads up as well, team. Depending on when you're watching this, um, I'm just recovered from COVID. You can probably hear that I'm quite out of breath. And that's one thing that I've been noticing that um, I get out of breath a bit easier. So I'm literally going to go at my own pace too. You might see me take some more rest just to give you a heads up. You wonder what's going on. I'm with all the heavy breathing. <laughs> so, first exercise, we're going to go from a clean into a forward lunge. And we're going to keep cleaning that each time. Variation, if you want to take the clean out and just do it as a wrapped lunge. And then you've got the option as well to just do body weight. So that's the first exercise. Second one, we have overhead press, and we're going to do it strict. That is where we're not using our legs to support us. All the power is coming from that um, single arm overhead press. If your kettlebell's a bit too heavy for single arm, just go two hands underneath and give me an overhead press in the center. Okay, 40 seconds on, 20 off. Let's get going with that. Clean into a forward lunge. And we'll go right leg first. We'll stay on that right side. Bring that kettlebell up to a clean position each time or keep it in wrapped. Or give me a body weight lunge. Oh, it's been a while since I've moved around with the weights. I haven't been to the gym for weeks either. And I'm missing it. Whew. 10 seconds. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go opposite, opposite in round. So we're going left arm first now with the overhead press. Deep breath. Pushing that weight up towards the ceiling. So you've got the option, if it's too heavy to use double hand, or in the other instance, if it's too light, and you want to challenge, bring that eccentric phase nice and slow, and then quick push to the top. So you're slowing down the movement on the way down. What that does is create more tension throughout the movement without you having to use a heavier weight. Last few seconds. And rest. Oh, okay. Now we're gonna go again. Kettlebell clean into forward lunge and it's left side this time. You know what? I didn't realize about the breathlessness so much until I started moving about with the kettlebell. Interested. Mind you, to be honest, it's quite warm here today as well. And I've had to shut the windows because oh, the kids are all outside playing, but they're quite loud. Last few seconds. And rest. Okay, have a breather. Oh, and I've just realized that I didn't change the rest period, so it's been 15 seconds. <laughs> and go. Overhead press. Yeah, because on the warm up, I always do it just a 15 second rest period, and I forgot to change it. <sighs> That counts for 
the breathlessness to a good team. Keep that going. We have got ten seconds. And rest. Okay. Right, let me change this now before I forget. Now we'll go 15 seconds. <laughs> right, grab a quick drink and then I'll tell you the next one. So, we've got a wrap squat. I'll give you a few options again. So, if you go in a wrap squat, you're going to have the weight on one side. Keep it in wrapped position, forearm nice and straight, and we're going to squat down from there. Option, keep your kettlebell in the middle and give me a goblet squat, or of course, pop the kettlebell down and let's go body weight. From there, we're going to do swings. So double hand, traditional swing, 20 seconds rest this time. See if that'll help. Okay, if you go to wrap, let's go right side first. Ooh. Do what you want with this arm. You can keep it in, stick it out for balance, just wherever it feels good. Yeah, so the mad thing is, the last time I actually did the class with you all, a couple of weeks ago, I had COVID at the time, but didn't know. And if you remember, I was doing body weight squats and all sorts because I felt quite ill. I thought it was just the cold. Rest. <sighs> okay, deep breaths, then we're going into swings. Getting ready. Okay. Control the pace. You can make these quite intense, but going quicker. Keep them nice and moderate, which is what I'm doing today. Oh, it feels good to be moving again, though. Almost there. And rest. 20 seconds, then we're going on to the other side of our rack squat. Deep breath, getting ready. Don't forget, you've got the options that went through. But you can do goblet squat with two hands or body weight squat with no weight. It's going as low as feels good. Almost there. 10 seconds. And rest. Okay, I'm going to have to open my window, so I apologise for the children noises. They're out there, living their best lives. Getting ready for swings one last time. Remember, you control the intensity. Slow it down for a more moderate intensity. We'll speed it up if you want to raise that heart rate. Ten 
10 seconds. And rest. Oh, some observations, you know, for anyone else who may be going through it all as well. I feel like I can't regulate my breathing properly, which is strange. Normally I can match my breathing to the movements. Okay, get some breaths in. Next one, we have got lateral lunge. So we start with a wrapped lateral lunge, then we're going to go into a reverse lunge. So it goes like this. Your kettlebell goes down towards the floor, then we pull it up into wrapped position, and the same leg that went lateral goes behind. For the second workout, we've got a single arm deadlift. So that is where we've got a nice soft knee, and we're just going to hinge forward. Holding the kettlebell in one arm. If your kettlebell is too heavy for a single arm, just grab it in the middle and do a conventional deadlift. So we're going to get going lateral lunge into reverse and we'll go left, right leg first. So your right leg is going to be the one moving first. Take it down towards the floor, pull it into a clean. Take it back to reverse lunge and repeat. Again, options, drop the kettlebell and let's just go body weight. And we'll just do your lateral lunge into reverse lunge. Same principle as well with those lunges, it doesn't have to be very deep. Just consider them a step. That's where you're at. Have a breather. Then we'll go right hand first with that kettlebell. Single arm. Unless it's a bit heavy and you want to double up with both your hands. Getting ready, team. With both feet are together on the floor. It's not a split stance. Just like a hip hinge, but the kettlebell is loaded on the one side. Whew. Give those glutes a squeeze on the way up. Keeping that kettlebell quite close. You don't want it to come over here. You want it to be quite close to your body. So kind of aim towards your foot. Rest. Have a breather, and then it's left leg moving from a lateral lunge into a reverse lunge. Getting ready, team. Last lunge of the class. Oh, my quad just felt like it was going to cramp. Like, no, please, no quad cramps in the middle of the class. Don't forget, this one can be body weight if you want it to be. Almost 30, we've got 10 seconds. And rest. Whew. Okay, 20 second breather. Then we've got a single arm deadlift on our left hand. So your feet should just be about hip width. Soft knee. Get those hips out. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Try and aim for like something on the floor. Keep your Eyes and your back neutral. I always try to think about tucking my chin in when I do a deadlift, but I can never do it. 
So the cues are just a helpful way for us to remember like form, but it might not always look perfect because there's no such thing as perfect form. And rest, okay. Grab a drink, we're going down on the floor. So we have got a kettlebell press, which is like if you was doing um, a bench press at the gym. So you wanna think about having your arm about 45 degrees angle. What you're gonna do from there is push up towards the ceiling. So it will be your knuckles up towards the ceiling from there. Give it a nice squeeze at the top. And then for the second exercise, we've got a kettlebell sit up and press, um, which is that one. Well, we use the kettlebell really for a bit of momentum. Come up, press the kettlebell overhead. Option, two, body weight. Other option, hands on your thighs and just come up towards your knee. Ugh, kettlebell floor press first. So I'm just pushing that kettlebell up towards the ceiling. And you can have your, so you can have your knees bent like I am, or you can straighten them out if you want. See which one feels better for you. When with your knees bent, you can kind of like push your lower back into the floor a little bit more, which can just help. Support your lower back if you need that. Rest. Okay, 20 seconds rest, and then we're going into our kettlebell sit up and press. Or do it with your thighs just coming up towards your knee. No, not the thighs, your hands on the thighs coming up towards your knee. Okay, getting ready, team. And go. Oh, it's been a while since I did these. I was just thinking that I've got quite sweaty hands. Like, I don't want to drop the kettle on my head. <laughs> so make sure you've got a good grip on that kettlebell. rest. Okay, deep breath, and then we're going back to our kettlebell floor press, change hands, pressing that kettlebell up towards the ceiling with your knuckles leading. And it's nice controlled lower to the floor. Pressing your lower back into the mat. If you need that bit of extra support on your lower back. That's good team. Trying to keep that forearm nice and straight. Almost there. And rest. Last one. Kettlebell sit up and press and we're almost done. We'll do a stretch on the floor today. Okay, get ready team, last one. And go.
10 seconds. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it over yet? It is now. <laughs> oh, well done. Have a breather. Just going to do a nice basic stretch on the floor today. <sighs> when you're ready, in a seated position, just open your legs, take them just as wide as feels good for you. Get comfortable in that position. Pop your hands in front and then just take a couple of hands forward. Lean into that stretch. Feel the stretch on the inner thigh. Then the glute. Deep breath in and then when you breathe out, bring your elbows down towards the floor. So without having to take our hands forward, that just brings us into a bit of a deeper stretch. When you feel ready, walk your fingertips back to the top. Right position and take your hand over to your right foot, bring your left arm overhead. Get a nice stretch for the back, into the side. Right, take a deep breath in and then change size on the exhale. Oh, this feels good down there, down the lower back. I've noticed that more with working from home. Um, my lower back gets really like uncomfortable. It's not so much a pain that you can, it's like a low ache, if that makes sense. Always good to give it a nice stretch. Okay, bringing your legs in, right hand down by the right thigh. Then you can take your left hand over your right thigh and have a look over your shoulder. Get some stretch through that upper back. Deep breath in. And, and change sides. Little and back to the centre. From there, team, just pop your fingertips together, push outwards, and just have a look down towards the floor. Stretch the neck, the trap, the shoulders. And then we'll go opposite to that, take your hands down either on the floor behind and you just push your chest up, pulling those shoulder blades together, or just pop your hands on the bottom of your lower back, whatever one feels more comfortable. Open up that chest, nice stretch. Nice stretch along the shoulders as well there. Okay, and we'll end with a big exhale, inhale. We need to inhale first and then exhale all the way down. Okay, so big inhale. Fill up those lungs and exhale. Completely empty all the air. Thank you team. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you again next week.